These latest boycotts I really didn't see coming. Last it was Doritos, of course Bud Light before that, let's not forget that one. But now Planet Fitness? This I didn't see coming. So get this folks, as of Thursday, March 21st, Planet Fitness's value had dipped over $400 million. Now, if you haven't been following the story, here's where it gets kind of weird. So at the time this crossed my desk, I had heard about this woman's membership being, you know, completely revoked. So as the story stands, member, and I believe this happened in Alaska, a member named Patricia Silva, she goes into the locker room, witnesses a biological man shaving in the women's locker room. Okay. Now, the first thing she does is confronts him. You know, why are you in the women's locker room? And, and she's, you know, she's quoted to be saying that not only are there, you know, women in there, there's also young, you know, little girls. His response was, I'm part of the LGB community, not even LGBTQ plus you know, not, you know, gay or lesbian, just LGB, which was kind of odd. Well, she, she walks away, snaps a photo of him, you know, in the locker room pr uh, proper outside of the bathroom. Okay. Takes that to the front desk and reports it to the manager. Their response was to cancel her membership and ban her from the gym for violating their policy of taking the photo. Well, I can understand that they have a policy. Fine, but this is kind of a major issue. But apparently, at Planet Fitness, if you claim, you know, to be trans or part of the, you know, lesbian, gay, bi community or whatever, you are allowed in the opposite sex's restroom. Okay. Now, at some point in time, we have to draw a line, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, that being said, I was mentioning how there was uh, some losses here. So, as of Thursday, again, um, their value had lost over $400 million just within a couple days because of this. Now, if I go over here to, uh, you know, this is over on Google uh, Finance, you can look up, you know, Planet Fitness's, you know, total valuation. So as of the 7th, they were $66.92. As of Thursday, when they started really hitting and it's, you know, been going since, but boom. Now you're at 59.71 and 56.46. Right now it's stabilized around 59.90. Folks, this is just like what, what we saw with Bud Light. This is just like what we saw with Dorito. You know, um, the you know, Spain Dorito with the um, trans influencer over there. Uh, it, it, and again, I, you know, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I have nothing against the LGBTQ plus, you know, community or lesbians or gays. You know, as a Christian man, I, I it's not in my belief system, but I believe that you should be able to do whatever it is that makes you happy, you know? So if your lifestyle, if that if that's what makes you happy, then so be it, okay? And then that's none of my business. And, you know, the beautiful thing about, about being an American is we should have the freedom to choose whatever we like, but a line has to be crossed, Okay. So, I mean, uh, I, I, I could tell you if if my wife, daughter, sister, mother, whatever, walked into a locker room or a bathroom and I saw a grown man walking in between behind them, I'd have a problem with that. And if no one was going to do anything, I'd probably go in and drag his ass out. Okay. It's a safety issue. I mean, you have had complaints all over the country where, you know, I mean, and, I'm, and I'm sure there's people out there that legitimately... They'll do the transition process and they, they spend thousands upon thousands of dollars and years making themselves feel better about themselves. OK, that's one thing, you know, God bless them if that makes them happy. But the point is, if you're a grown man and you put on women's underwear and clothing and claim to be a female when you're you're a biological male, you have a penis. OK, Um you're just making a mockery of women or you're a danger. Okay. And I'm not saying everyone's like that, but I'm, but we've seen issues like that, you know, in the past. I mean, there was a story last year, I think it was where, um, a young girl went to the restroom. The father caught that a grown man followed her in. And by the time he got in here, 
or got in the bathroom, the little girl was already in, in the corner. She was in danger. And the father, I believe, beat the hell out of him, too. I'm not saying to resort to violence or anything, but I'll tell you, if if I had been in his shoes, yeah, I probably would have gone in and dragged his ass out of there without a doubt, you know, you know, and definitely grabbed my kid and got my kid out of there. It's a safety issue. I mean, there was also some cases where trans men claimed to be women or trans women or whatever, and these men ended up in a, you know, women's prison, and now you got, you know, a couple of female inmates that are pregnant. Uh, really? We're letting that happen? A line has to be crossed, folks. Now, another part of this story that actually this part I enjoy. So you got the libs of TikTok getting involved, you know, and, you know, they are, uh, if you're not familiar with them, follow them. They're on, you know, Twitter, TikTok and everything like that. But they're advocates for, you know, um, you know, child safety, you know, women's rights, things of that nature. Check them out. But this right here, this um, tweet from Rob Schneider made my day. So on the 20th, he tweeted, Hmm, seems like creepy dudes could take advantage of this at Planet Fitness policy. Maybe instead of Pizza Monday, they can have penis in women's locker room Tuesdays. Thumbs up. So, and that was him his response when he retweeted the lips of TikTok tweet. Breaking, I just received this image from Planet Fitness in Alaska. The man who was caught shaving in the women's bathroom is still entering women's private spaces. So, Planet Fitness stood by him. So their policies allow men to use the locker rooms, women's locker rooms. And if you complain, you may have your membership revoked. Planet Fitness is not safe for women. And then, you know, again, they tag that. So that was from Lips of TikTok. I, I have to agree with them. It's not safe for women. And, I, and I'm and i appalled, just, just blown away by the fact that they would actually back this person up and actually start kicking out women in, in the process for complaining. Okay, here's a follow-up video that the woman who was banned from Planet Fitness posted and Libs of TikTok put up on their Twitter page uh, for us to see. It, it, this is this is interesting, folks. Good morning at eight degrees below zero in Fairbanks, Alaska. Day two of Planet Fitness Saga. I came in Monday, there's a man in the women's locker room shaving a little girl sitting in the corner she could have been 12 years old i don't know how old she was in a towel kind of freaked out that there's a man shaving in her locker room well Disgusting. i was offended i took a picture of him and i asked him why are you there you're a man with a penis why are you in the women's locker room and he justified by saying i'm queer lgb and i said you shouldn't be in the women's locker room well i left and um, as I said this morning, I got canceled. Planet Fitness is defending the man in the women's locker room, the man with the penis, rather than the child sitting in the corner with a towel wrapped around her. Well, that might so people, I just want you to know, this is weird. It's not good. Uh, so one other tweet in that same thread uh, states, uh, she filmed in a bathroom, which is pretty much against every company's policies. And odd that a 12-year-old was considering it, too, violates Planet Fitness policy. This is true. And it states here, in order to keep their membership costs conveniently low, we do not offer child care services. And for the safety of children under the age of 13, we ask that they do not come into the facility. We do try to keep our clubs open as long as possible, accommodate all schedules, check with your local club for their hours. So, yeah, I get that. Um, I think this person may have been trying to maybe put down what she did. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's wrong. I don't understand the, the, you know, what anyone else would have done in the same situation, though. Um, regardless whether whether it was right or wrong, um, it still goes to show you that if she would have just reported it on its own, she still would have probably ended up banned. Um, at least that's in my opinion. You know, and it comes from here, another response from, uh, this was actually from Planet uh, Fitness itself. As the home of the judgment-free zone, Planet, Planet Fitness is committed to creating an inclusive environment. Spokesperson wrote via, via email, our gender identity non-discrimination policy states that members and guests may use the gym facilities that best align with their sincere self-reported gender identity. 
the member who posted on social media violated our mobile device policy that prohibits taking photos of individuals in the locker room, which resulted in their membership being terminated. So yeah, I, again, we're getting that, but this just tells you right now. So if I go in probably just like this, you know, dressed up hoodie hat, you know, country boy. And I walk into the planet fitness up the road and I just say, I, you know, um, you know, identify as a he, she, therefore a lady. And I feel more comfortable inside the women's locker rooms. They're going to let me go. That's what this is telling me, you know, comment below if I'm misunderstanding, but it, it says to me that if, if regardless of how they identify, if, you know, they, they're allowed to do as they wish. So, I mean, that being said, you probably have a female go into the men's locker room, but I guarantee you that's not going to happen. Guarantee you. Even if a, a male transitioned into as a female, it looks like a female, she, that person's not going to risk going in there. Um, or, you know, uh, if, if, if a female transitioned to a man, you know, she's still, she probably knows that she's still not a man unless she's a really, really big person who feels comfortable anywhere. Chances are she's not going in there. So uh, the, the point is, is that this puts, you know, women and children at, at, at danger. Now it says here under the age of 13, but uh, that doesn't tell me anything. I mean, so 13 to 18 year olds are, are just, safe with a dude in the room i i don't i don't agree with that okay now it just gets worse from there folks so on yesterday march 22nd lips of tiktok posted and i quote wow planet fitness is complicit in grooming kids they advertise a partnership with the lgbtq nonprofit. it gets better project which sends lgbtq queer books to kids in schools across the country. I've heard of this organization, and this is actually straight from their website. So they they are literally promoting, you know, uh, you know, sex, uh, uh, lesbian, gay, the, the whole community to, to children. So if they're saying this to these school books, and I think they even have uh, T-shirts that they have joined with Planet Fitness. Uh, so I, so they're literally grooming children. <laughs> on top of it so in 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 in, in, before i stop here it gets even worse so switch over back to this post here on uh this was just within the last couple of hours so in in the filming of this is march 23rd okay so from libs of tiktok wow planet fitness is now quadrupling down on defending men in women's locker rooms they reportedly assigned a staffer specifically to accompany this man so he can safely and comfortably enter the women's locker room. They're putting a mentally ill man's delusions before women's safety. I guess wiping out $400 million in value in one week wasn't enough for them. Women aren't safe in Planet Fitness. Now, and then here's a post here from, um, or a, an article here from the New York Post. Planet Fitness assigned staffer to assist transgender client women's locker room. If you're uncomfortable, you can use a stall. Well, there you go, ladies. So if you go into a, a woman's locker room now and you want to change and you don't feel comfortable because there's a man in there, you can use a stall. How does that make you feel? So where is this going to go from here? I mean, this is absolutely insane. And I, and I know there's going to be comments and feel free to, 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 to comment, discuss below. But I'm sure someone's going to be like, oh, here we go. Uh, another radical right, you know, boycott. This, I'm not a radical anything, for one. OK, and there's nothing radical about this. This is about protecting our children and, and, and protecting women, you know. You know, all these years, you know, let's go, let's go back to when women were fighting for women's rights. Okay. Now, all of those rights are being put into jeopardy by things like this. Are we, we're going backwards, people. We're going backwards. Okay. We've already discussed in other videos, I mean, how women are being devalued, you know, and put down. I mean, look at Dylan Muldaney's video. We covered it um, this past week. Uh, his girls of uh, days of girlhood. Okay. Every single day of that week, he talks about different things, you know, what he considers in a girl's life. Now I want to remind you, he's a 26 year old man who, instead of being a woman, he wants to be a girl. 
but you know, you know, one day, you know, you know, you know, apparently girls just cry. The next day they're popping pills, you know, so they're a depressed drug addict. Next day they're, you know, they're doing the walk of shame and they don't know the guy's name. Okay. So now you're, you're okay. You know, and, and so on and so forth, completely devaluing women. Okay. So all the women's rights that were fought for, you know, women are being now being devalued and this is taking away their rights and they're giving it to a, a delusional mentally ill man. That's not fair. So I'm going to end with that folks, but really comment below. Let me know what you think. You know, um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and subscribing is free, folks. And hit that alert uh, bell so every time I put up another video, you get a notification. And with that, I'll see you next time.